What's up, my quesadillas? Uh, pardon me. So, I just woke up, um, meditated. Let me know if you want a day in the life video of K Simmons. Um, I was thinking about doing it. You know, in case you just want that, let me know. Yo, mom's keys cooking up the din. The din din. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. Talking to the relatives. Real homie vibes right now. And she got the, the flaming Cheeto popcorn from the base. Mm. I think I'm about to play some Zelda and munch on those. But first, we're going to work out. Yeah. Do y'all need some preaching? No? Alright, let's go. Actually... Take y'all to the grass in the day in the life video. Let me know if you want it. Alright, actually, I just did a six mile run and sat on the grass for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Stretched and stuff, you know. I'm eating Dinsky's now with me. <laughs> the one and only. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yeah. Eating some salad. <laughs> ribs. Yo, shout out to the momskies. <laughs> yeah. Only uh, half of the Simmons family in the household in this era. Because my dad. Moved up to Atsugi, a military base up north, just above Tokyo. June, my brother, he's in Colorado, as always. My sis, on, little one, littlest. She in San Diego, pursuing her dreams. Okay, going to college. Yeah. So it's just me and me. Vibing out. Where's it? With mama. Happy. I'm right here again. Okay. Yep. Where are you now? No, no. Lately, I've been playing Zelda. I've been playing it every day, streaming. Yeah. Yeah, the reason I'm vlogging today, though, is because it's Thursday, and every week I do a stand-up comedy little thing. Yeah, it's fun. Just meet up with Jedediah, the guy that put me on. I guess Sam put me on, but Jedediah, too. Shout out to him. Um, yeah. So go and go to Yokosuka. 
be a comic for a night. And yeah, I'll just show y'all what's good. Also, it's the last battalion gaff. <laughs> we made it. We made it this far. I could tell y'all so much. Like, how the formation of my not giving a fuckness has changed, but I don't give a fuck. I do actually, but it's uh, uh, I don't think there's any point because at the end of the day, it all leads to here. So. It's whatever. Yeah. All I can say is, I can picture myself talking about anything. And a little lesson I wrote down. Just a spicy tidbit we can pull out from this. Because for the record, I think this whole thing was useless and a waste of time. Um, but on my run today, I sat on the grass. And, like halfway through. I sat on the grass after too, but halfway through, I was sat on another patch of grass looking at the ocean and wrote this down. Yeah, so you don't have to try to not give a fuck. Life will give you things you have no choice but to not give a fuck about. Yeah. Nice little lesson to end the series. Series? If you can call this a series, I have more respect for the content that a series would provide um, that this doesn't quite match up with. But Hey, we out there making moves, you know, the way I see it, I'm slowly, slowly, like a snake, just shedding its layers, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of just giving you no choice. But to face it, yeah. I don't know, you may like it, you may not like it, but you're going to face it. Yeah, that's for sure. See you at the spot. I was going to walk, but it's kind of late.
It'll take me like an hour to get there. And it ends at 11, and it's already 9, so I think it starts at 8. I'm going to just go on top next week. Yeah. Yeah, last week, I was trying to... Oh, yeah, by the way, my quesadilla is big news. I got my passport. So we here till like Jesus dies. That's 33, I think that's when. That's around when I can stay. So yeah, what else? Um, yeah, so like around that time last week. Um, I walked through the gate here at the station right here and then but like I think my energy was off and so the I could tell like I was like pulling something with me and what I pulled was the ticket gate person's attention he popped his head out hey yo you know I gotta pay that's what he said I like how he said customer. It's pretty, pretty chill. But anyway, I just like, I was just like, ah. And then I head back. And then I ended up not even going. That day, we got the passport the next day, so. But yeah, anyway, I got caught, so. Now, I kind of feel like I got to pay at this gate, but. I think I'm like 20 yen below the the lowest ticket, even the child ticket, the lowest one. So we don't have to just hope it's a different person. Hopefully they don't know who I am. I feel like I'm walking a silver lining right now, my quesadillas. I feel like I'm not offensive, but I'm too defensive. Sibs are you know stabbing people like shifts, you know what I'm saying? I'm stabbing ores out here. You know what I'm saying? Alright. It's showtime. Maybe if I walk, okay, maybe if I walk on the right one, I'll be like farther away. Better strategy. Here we go. The aura has been secured.
got my material ready.
Who else have you had loves self love sessions with? Who was before me? Was his self-love bigger than mine? I hope someone has a vape in there. What's the juice box looking vape. The one that looks like a nip. If I do too much. Yeah, this anime chick is always here. I need to take a picture with her. Okay, that's fire. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's do something. あの、聞いてください。いI gotta get to the comedy thing. I get though. Gotta get out there. She was distracting me. Hold on. Shout out to this spot too, Elixir. They have good food. This is like 
a lot of Filipinos that uh, I'm friends with out here. Here we are. How you doing? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yo, shout out to Tariq. Tariq, right? Yeah, he owns a bar here. You own this one? He owns this one, Club 54, and then he owns another one over there. T-Rex. Yeah, T-Rex. For sure. I'm gonna go in here, the spot. Yeah. Hey. point of maturity will where I'll still have one night stands but she's my girlfriend for the night <laughs> I was one of those kids that was almost popular in high school like I would get all the unpopular kids to think I'm popular but I'm not actually popular the real popular kids were like rock stars sharing their coolness being rad, and I was like a cult leader, just growing my aura from within, compelling people to admire my heart. And then the popular kids get curious because rock stars love cult leaders. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm coming to accept the situation at hand, which is that I like MILFs. I never thought I did. Perhaps I'm ageist. I do know it in my head if someone is an elder or not. Definitely have wrinkly images coming to mind when I think of an older lady, but I found that I like wrinkles. Anything that sucks my dick. <laughs> so yeah, I like milks. <laughs> Another reason I like them is because now is the only time to like them. Liking milks when I'm 35 is just liking my peers. <laughs> uh, I'd have to move on to gifts by that point. <laughs> I've never dirty talked in my life. Um, I don't know, it's like playing with your food. Like, I'm not trying to airplane the broccoli in my mouth. I just put the broccoli in my mouth. Like, I love, I love food, but I don't say, yeah, you like this fork, huh? I just do it and that's fine. I haven't had relationships with women long enough to hear the complaints. I'm actually in a really good spot. I've managed to la 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 through life until I became successfully delusional. Like the other day, a girl, a girl told me in the DMs that I was the worst sex she's ever had. You hear that? I was the worst sex she's ever had. But I've been going la 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 big 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 big. It just doesn't face me. I'm actually glad it was the worst sex she's had. That's way better than the most mediocre sex she's ever had. <laughs> mediocre sex sounds worse than worst sex. At least I'm first on one end of the spectrum. <laughs> Comedy, what a great coping mechanism. Alright, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So we just had some jolly discussion on the couch. And uh, I took off. It was really homey though. That little social circle. I kind of want to sit back down over there. Gonna walk home. Play some Zelda. Yeah, I like this walk from Yokosuka to my home because it's just one long road and I just sing. It's a vibe. That's it. I'm really grateful to know the people I know. And just these little opportunities here and there sprinkled in my schedule that just keep me occupied. On the road that is aligned with my desires. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me think about anything I want to say. It is the finale after all. Any updates for the quesadillas? Mm. Um, guess I could just provide some clarity. 
if you're curious on like how I be living these days. So yeah, I do this every Thursday. This little comedy thing. Got new jokes every time. And I'll be going up to Dale's crib and like recording or going to the studio. vibrations that satisfy what else I like to read so I do that and I meditate those are probably the main things. Um, while I'm traveling, I play with my cards. I do that. And I study a little kanji and stuff. I got a little book that I learned that from. Oh, and as of late, I've been playing Zelda. That's like the big one. Yep. I'll be running six miles regularly. Hitting the grass, doing some Qigong, calisthenics type beat. What else? Been watching Life is Strange gameplay. Been cozied up in the crib. Curling up in my mother's love from all my mommies. Right. Whether that's a joke, a quote, or a bar. Yep, that's the gist of it. Oh, and most importantly, I vlog. Which is the umbrella that covers it all. Hobby of hobbies, the skill of all skills, the talent of all talents. Thanks for watching my quesadillas. I think that's it for this video. Have a great day. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like.
I'm trying to think of something special, you know, because it's like the finale and stuff. I have nothing. I have nothing. There's no word perfect for this moment. Oh, I got it. I like monologues.